December 8th, and I'm about to tell you what I am doing today. Just gotta get it all set up and look. Okay, today we have a day at sea. So we're right now in between Miami and the Caymans. At 12.15 p.m. today, our big event we have planned is we're going to a princess gathering. So, that should be fun. Other than that, we're just enjoying life. It's the first time I've been like fully disconnected from like humanity in years, so. I'm sure it's an adjustment for me. So let's open some advent calendars right now. Our first one is the Ulta Beauty 12 Days of Beauty calendar. Day eight is right here. Let us see what we got. Ooh, so this is a matte, a velvet matte liquid lipstick. I definitely have tried this formula before from the Ulta Beauty brand and I actually do like their formula. It does have more of that velvety finish so it doesn't fully dry out your lips. I mention this all the time but the mini pro Why? What are you doing? Hello? Why are you doing that? Luigi, what are you doing? Mommy's trying to do some things. Mini products don't have like shade names which is like the most frustrating thing in the world for me as someone on YouTube. Ugh. Next, we'll get into the Birchbox Advent Calendar. Day eight is right here. Let's see what I got. Ooh. So for this, we have the Brio Geo Fri Farewell Frizz Low Dry Perfection and Heat Protecting Cream. I've definitely gotten samples of this before. I just haven't gotten around to using it yet because I am currently using like a heat protectant that maybe has one or two uses left in it. That's how low it is so I definitely am going to be trying this one next because I'm very interested you'll have to let me know if you've got if you guys have tried that yet now we have our cat socks who doesn't love the cat socks let's see day eight is up here and it says taco cat spelled backwards is taco cat that's a good one uh and literally the socks say the same love it love it love it love it these look kind of like Luigi Luigi, does that look like you? A little bit? Yeah, what are you doing? Okay, now for our Reese's. Are we gonna get a miniature or some pieces today? It is right here in the middle. Oh my God, more pieces. Keep getting pieces. Let me tell you people. I have had a perpetual headache the entire day. <sighs> One of those headaches that not even Advil can help with. Not fun. Okay, and now we are going to get into our QVC calendar. I actually immediately saw day eight. I feel like I can never find it, but day eight is right here. Okay, so this is from Peter Thomas Roth, and this is the Firm X Peeling Gel. Visibly exfoliates by rolling, lifting, and sweeping away. I have never used this. The current, like, I ha do have a current peeling gel open right now. It's from Bliss, and I really do like that one, but I'll definitely have to give this one a go once I run out of that one. Now, we have our candle of the day from Yankee. Woo! Okay, day eight is down here at the very bottom. It's going to be a tea light. Ooh, it's a green one. If I can get it out, come on. Hmm, I wish the tea lights were labeled. I'm not sure. This one might be mistletoe. I'm not sure, but here's the green tea light. Hello, can I help you? Do you need a candle, sir? Oh, now we have our Scott advent calendar and we never really know what we're gonna get. Let's find day eight. Oh, day eight is a really big one. Oh, it's really heavy too. Oh my goodness, this is like very weighty. What the heck? What in the heck? What? This is a fresh baked chocolate chip cookie scented triple pour candle. What? This is so cool. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh my goodness. It smells like very vanilla-y, but I bet you like each layer has a different scent. Ooh. Look at you, Scotty. Eight points for Scotty. Who would have thought Scott's the king of the advent calendar? That was an exciting one to open. Probably the best thing of the day, if I do say so myself. So, of course, we're gonna need to reach into our grab bag of lip products. 
gonna have to wipe off the product, the lip product I have on today, but let's get really down and deep in there. What do we got? This is from Pure. Oh my God, the writing is so small. It hurts my head to look at it. Let's see what it says on here. It's so tiny. I guess it's their liquid lipstick in the shade Twinzel. I think that says Twinzel. It's so tiny. I do recall, I think I got this as a free sample from Ulta. But first things first, this is just a pack that I got for swatching purposes from Marshalls. Nothing fancy. And here we go. Oh, that's a very strong, like, like candy, sweet candy scent. Mmm. So it has a very... It's like soft feeling. I can't really describe it, but it felt like a little pillow when I was putting it on my lips. It feels quite comfortable. So there you have it. There's all that stuff for today. So now you guys get to see me taking down the fall decor in our house, putting up all the winter decor. And then at the end of the video, you're gonna see like a little surprise unboxing. So stay tuned for that. Well, good morning. My plan for this morning is i'm finally well i say finally like it's super late in the season it's freaking november 9th but we're doing everything early this year going to take down all of the fall decor there's not a lot left i guess you could say taking down halloween was a lot more work and then i will be putting up winter decor we'll see how much footage we get out of this all that's what you're here for i'm going to do some speed cleaning maybe we can get scotty in on the action and make the house ready for winter even though it's november 9th <laughs> also i'm gonna light this candle today it says give thanks on it but it's actually sweet cinnamon pumpkin which is warm cinnamon fresh ground clove vanilla cream and brown sugar this smells so delicious i'm super excited to light this one up Hello. What I will be doing right now is I will be sorting through all of our winter christmas -y decorations. I am having my first cup of gingerbread coffee for the season. It's so calming you? It's too hot right now to drink. It smells very good though. And this is what's going to happen right now, so you can watch. So I think after over a week of trying to do all the finishing touches, I can give you the quick decoration tour. This decoration is what we call a Luigi who's eating Mario's food. Luigi, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? 
Yeah, because you're very hungry all the time. Okay, over here is Mario's holiday clothing sweaters. Yes, I have a little thing just for that. Maybe we'll get him in a sweater soon. Speaking of Mario, he wants to show you our beautiful pillows. Right, Mario? This is where Mario spends all his days. We just got some pillow covers. I kept the buffalo plaid. And these other covers I got last holiday season on Amazon. Right, Mario? Am I right? Then over the fireplace we added Skippy and Butts, which are their names, and I think I got these little candle holders, maybe Michael's, you see more a couple years ago. And there's Luigi's, he's done eating Mario's food. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, above the TV is where Gonzales and Small Woodland Creatures wound up. Over here, we have our Mario and Luigi dish towel. So in the welcome room, finally got my freaking pillow covers delivered. So these are the same as the orange ones I had for the fall, just in more of a green color. They are velvet from Amazon. Got these on Amazon last year. This I won in like a dirty Santa one year. On our shoe rack is where we kind of have the, I don't know what we want to call this. We have a Charlie Brown tree. We have some stuff. We have... Flat Gonzalez over here. Not sure how I feel about it. This is a work in progress. On our welcome shelf, I put the Merry Christmas. Oh, are you giving the tour now? Can you give us a tour? Tour guide, tour guide. Interesting. So, I mean, it doesn't feel like a lot, but it was a lot to do. I don't really feel like the need to go crazy and buy a million decorations. We just moved here. There will be many years to follow for being able to buy decorations. For now, I'm pretty comfortable with what we have. Potentially, Luigi wanted to show you that if we do wind up finding a Christmas tree, it's going to go oh, right in this corner instead of that light. Probably move this over a little and get right there. Waiting until it gets a little bit more... A little closer to winter to put this out in the garden though. Luigi is under the sofa being naughty. Cool. So yeah, I think that's it. Luigi. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Oh my God, Go. What is happening? And we got some sort of a box from our Disney planner. It looks fun. I don't know what it is. Oh my God, what is this? That is, that says Rachel and Scott, if you're familiar. And this is from me and the mouse travel. All information here. Oh, there's a bow. Like a, it's like Christmas. What is this? I literally have no idea what this is. I'm so excited though. Welcome to my unboxing. I'm just reach my hand in. It doesn't look like a box. For, oh, lanyards for our things. I read that on the ship it's important to have lanyards. So now we have lanyards. I think this is for like our room key. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. What do you think? Next. Next. Are these like, I? it doesn't specifically say, but I'm pretty sure these are probably hand sanitizing wipes, which is a very smart idea. Especially during cold and flu season. Don't crinkle. Don't crinkle. I'm gonna cry. Passports would fit in this. Do you know how big a passport is? Maybe you've never seen one before. You should probably get one. Huh? This is soap. I don't know what you do with this. Mm -hmm. It's from a it's from a resort in Disney World though. Mm -hmm. Basin White Grand Floridian soap. Grand Floridian is a hotel at Disney World. I'm gonna have to ask my parents about this one because I don't know if we're supposed to take this with us or if this is just for us to bathe with here. What it Oh, Mickey Mouse bottle opener. I know what that's for. Oh, yeah. Who loves paperwork? This is very heavy. Good lord. Is that the last thing? Uh, wait, Scott and Rachel. Secret message. Oh, he's opening the letter first. I didn't know there was a message. Thank you very much. This is more magnets. 
Dear Scott and Rachel, thank you so much for allowing me to help you with your Disney cruise vacation. It's been an absolute pleasure pleasure working with you. I hope you're looking for forward. I hope you're looking forward to the trip. No, I hope if you're looking for a Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise, Royal Caribbean Cruise, or Universal Vacation in the future, you would allow me to help again. Sincerely, Beth. I had to think about how to read. Oh, look. So this is like things to do before the cruise. Everything we need. This is a lot of stuff. I think this is for like other things that she does planning for because there's Disneyland, Disney World, Universal Studio. That's really cool actually. That's actually very useful to have <laughs> if we ever do want to do something like that. This is really nice. Honestly, like 13 out of 10 would recommend using this if you're ever planning a Disney cruise. Can't say it. Can you focus on it? I'm trying to keep putting it far away. 10 out of 10 would recommend using the mouse and me. We didn't pay a dime for any of this service. She helped us plan our entire trip. Beth, you're the best if you ever see this. And we have a bag. I'm impressed. Fantastic. We're probably on a boat while you're watching this.